My lab works on how the brain and the immune system interact. And this is very important when one's considering diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and even neurological disorders like autism spectrum disorders. Labs like myself and others at this time point are really showing that if you don't have the brain and the immune system interacting, you actually will develop certain neurological disorders. But for decades it's been thought it's just been too much interaction and the approach has been to try to turn it off. Our studies have shown that normal brain function requires constant interaction between the brain and the immune system. And so our studies are focusing at identifying which interactions keep brain function going and which interactions are unwanted or are excessive. And so that is where we're taking our studies, is trying to translate them from some of our studies with Alzheimer's disease, with these brain immune interactions and looking at how can our findings help identify risk factors so that we can predict preventative strategies as well as therapeutics because prevention is easier than therapy.